of Pentecost is God equipping his church with the power of the Holy Spirit so that he will be glorified. Listen this carefully. The purpose of Pentecost is for God to equip the church, which is me and you. Mm -hmm. With power, amen. <clears throat> but the power, amen, of the Holy Spirit, or the Holy Ghost, so that we could be, so that who God could be glorified amongst the nations. Amongst the nations. And later on, you will begin to understand where it starts with us. Man. Even if we cannot go to Canada, we have a little nation right in our village, Amen. in our country, in our homes. We can make an impact because of the baptism and the filling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus. Amen. The point of Pentecost is what number one mission, and the goal of mission is that the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord Amen. as the water covers the sea. Amen. Habakkuk 2, 14. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Look at, look at the mission, look at the, the command that God commanded the church for us to do as a believer. So you see, number one, you understand what really glorify God? At the minute, mission going outside and being a witness amongst people that we come in contact with it's Amen. very important Amen. as a church this is what glorify God he said here God plan for being glorified amongst nation was to form the church that is why the Lord he said I am building my church Amen. and the gates of hell will not prevail against Amen. the church. Amen. So the mission God planned for being glorified amongst nations was to form the church. Amen. So we understand in the day of Pentecost first of all why the Lord allowed Pentecost. Yes, sir. Why he allowed the church to begin there. Yes. What bring glory to his to our Father? Every one of us are children of God. What glorify God in heaven? We're not calling ourselves a Christian. I love to see people look nice, yeah? Or just look nice and, and, and you know what I mean? Or whatever. No. What glorify God? What bring his church? What make him happy about this church? And what glorify him? Let's go further down with us. Go ahead. Yes, God. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. So we need to remember that our purpose as the Lord Church is not to focus on ourselves for our own happiness. Hmm. Think about this, Church. I love to read it twice, so we will get it into our spirit this morning. Our need. We need to remember that our purpose. As the Lord, church is not to focus on ourselves and our own happiness. Our purpose is to spread the, the knowledge of God to all the nation, beginning here in our own Jerusalem. Go ahead, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Good. Beginning in our own Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Right. Go ahead. Who can tell me this point? Where is our Jerusalem? Right, in the village. Our Jerusalem. Start in a home. home. Go ahead. Amen. The Bible said a woman build their house. And a woman could block down their house. Go ahead, sir. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we need men need to understand a woman. Amen. Sometimes women go through certain hormones balance and so forth in their life. Some men who have the knowledge they can understand that. How to deal with it. That's why men need Christ to be the head. Amen. Men need knowledge of the deal with a woman. Amen. Right Amen. A woman needs to understand a man when he goes through his issues. Leave him alone. When you, you're going to talk big correction, you're, you're putting fuel in fire. 
But if I want to zip, leave let him put, let him solve all this problem. When he come back, yeah, he's a good loving man again. Leave him alone. But a woman needs somebody to talk to. Amen. Amen. A woman needs somebody to talk to. And if a woman is getting a husband here to talk to, somebody to speak to his her husband, and he don't want to hear, she will not hear till the hair grey. So it's very important for a man to understand. But nowadays they don't have men who are who put God as their head, who put Christ as their yeah. head. So they don't get wisdom how to deal with it. Amen? It's through the life. So it said here quickly. We have our own Jerusalem to deal with. The start of our home. It said here, if we if we lost our outward focus with the overall purpose of God's glory, we have lost our reason for existence. God have mercy. God has see, to. If we lost our outward focus as a child of God and to me. Yeah. Eh? As, as I said, it, it, it don't make sense we exist on planet. Amen. We have to have a vision for the mission. We have to have an outside focus. We have to have a woman, men, we have to have a vision for our home. Yes. The Bible said where there was no vision, the people, the Bible said where there was no money, the people perish. And it said where there was no vision, the people perish. Amen. We have to have a vision for our home, of our own Jerusalem to start with, is our home. As men, we should say, for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. That some men don't have Christ as a head, women take a step and say, for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Take your children, bring them to the house, have a vision. Amen? Set the example for the children to see. Very important. Bless God for Jerusalem there. Amen? Acts 2, 9 to 11, they talk about They talk about God's plan to, for all nation. God's plan for all nation. Time is on us. I won't go there, but you can read it. From Acts 2, 9 11. Pastor Lennon, you have it yet? Yeah. Quickly. Parthians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and Cappadocia in Pontus and Asia. Pergia and Pamphylia in Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene, Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. Hallelujah. Church, look at their mountain countries. Amen. Look, look at their mountain countries that they talk about here. And you know what, what happened? This was they were devoted men, meaning God fearing men. But I mean men, I mean women and men. Eh? When the Bible talk about men, was devoted men at the in all this country they talk about. And the meaning of devoted men is what? Is God fearing men. This is where we have to come back as a church. Fearing God. Amen? Like in the day of Pentecost. The necessary power. For fulfilling God's plan is His Holy Spirit. Church, that is why we have to be filled with the Holy Ghost to do God's work. Amen? Because we have some wonderful, we, our ministry is evangelism. We have to come out and evangelize. But we cannot come out with except the Holy Ghost empower us to do the work of the ministry. Go ahead, amen. Amen? So everyone has to go deep. We have to go deep, seek the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So we will be effective. We serve our God calling. Amen. In the ministry. It's very important. Let's go this morning. So I'm preparing us for the week that coming. We have a powerful week coming up here. A few days out in the harvest. The Bible said the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. Yeah. So when we go out there filled with the Holy Ghost, we will make a difference through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will make a difference in the community and the, Amen. And the villages. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit is not just 
the force. He is the third person of the Trinity. Listen to me. Sometimes we live and we don't acknowledge the Holy Spirit and His position in our life. So if the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity, who is the first? God. Father God. Who is the second? Jesus. The third is the Holy Spirit. The Bible said that three became what? One. Oh, what a wisdom. On everybody, focus. You come into our close now. But focus on this place this morning. Turn on everybody. One, two, three, come in one. These three come in one year to go where? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's see. Put them in that bag and we'll lose it. Yeah. Come on. So that three persons come in, nothing or it. That three persons, spiritually persons like us, mm. come in into one and come in. In us. Sometimes we don't recognize who we have in us. Because sometimes the life that we live, it don't seem like that the tree is in us. Now, this one I tell you something. What is dealing with us? Eh? Yeah, go ahead. We have to understand that when this tree come in us and we come out of his will what we are doing church we are grieving the spirit of God grieve when we sin or when we come of alignment amen pastor Lydia yesterday we was behind a car you notice something? The black car and you said, why that car making noise like that? What happened? It was out of alignment. And how, how, how it went? How it was making the noise? You was Loud. Making, huh? Loud. Come on, I don't hear you. Loud. It was making a loud noise. Who have cars, they will understand that. The wheel, it came in, it twists. So what happened now? The wheel was out of alignment. So it's like a ball. Amen? When we come off of alignment, or when we pull out of a plug, like when we come in church, we plug in. Sometimes we pull out a plug and we go our own way. Forget it! That the tree in one is in us to make an impact in society. Go ahead, amen. The tree in us should be people in the community of village supposed to see the tree in one in us. And let the world come to the light. Amen. Amen. You see the purpose of the Holy Spirit and a believer. The tree in one in us is to make a difference, to bring a difference into our society. Amen. In our homes, in our village, community. And it's the purpose. Of being a Christian, Amen. a believer, a child of God. Amen. Amen. So it says that the Trinity is very, is everywhere. Know that He is a personal being and that He can be grieved. Amen. The Trinity is Everywhere we know that he is a personal being and that he can be grieved. Church, the Holy Spirit is a personal being yeah. and it can be grieved. And Acts 5, 3 and 4. 